Ever wondered why your electric stove isn't heating up as it should or why one of its burners isn't working at all? Well, you're not alone. Home cooks everywhere grapple with issues like uneven heating, burners that refuse to light up, and even stoves that won't turn on. But before you call in a professional or consider buying a new one, let's acknowledge something important. Most of these issues are fixable and you might not need a professional to do it. Fear not, help is at hand. Before we dive into fixing, remember, safety first. It's crucial to unplug the stove before you begin any repairs. Electricity and metal tools can be a dangerous combination. Additionally, make sure the stove has had ample time to cool down completely. This isn't just about comfort, it's about avoiding burns from residual heat. This might seem obvious, but in the rush to fix a problem, it's easy to forget. Once you have taken these safety measures, you're ready to start troubleshooting. Now, let's get down to business. We will start with the most common problems and their solutions. First up, a non-functioning burner. This could be due to a faulty burner coil or a loose connection. To check, remove the burner coil from its socket and inspect for any visible damage. If it looks fine, test it with a multimeter for continuity. No continuity? It's time for a replacement. If the coil is fine, check the socket for any loose connections and fix them. Next, if your stove isn't turning on, it's time to check the power supply. Ensure your stove is plugged in and the outlet is working. If that checks out, inspect the fuse. A blown fuse can prevent the stove from turning on. If you find a blown fuse, replace it with a new one of the same rating. Lastly, dealing with uneven heating. This is usually due to a faulty temperature sensor. To check, you'll need to access the back of the stove and locate the sensor. It's usually a thin tube-like part. Using a multimeter, test the sensor for continuity. If there's no continuity, replace the sensor with a new one. By following these steps, you should be able to identify and fix the problem with your stove. Remember, safety first. Always unplug your stove before starting any repair work, and if you're in doubt, don't hesitate to call a professional. While many issues can be solved with a little DIY, there are times when you might need a professional's help. Let's talk about those times when it's best to call in the cavalry. When you're dealing with complex internal wiring issues, for example, it's easy to get tangled up. A professional electrician has the expertise to navigate these intricate systems safely and efficiently. Then there's the case of the stubborn stove. You've replaced parts, you've followed all the steps, but the problem persists. It's time to call a pro. They have the tools and knowledge to diagnose and fix persistent issues that might be eluding your efforts. And don't forget about the warranty. If your stove is still under warranty, DIY repairs might void it. A certified professional, on the other hand, can perform repairs without jeopardizing your warranty coverage. Remember, while DIY can be satisfying and cost-effective, safety and efficiency should always be your priority. So, to recap, remember safety always comes first when dealing with an electric stove. Unplugging it before any troubleshooting is key. We've covered some common issues and their solutions, from faulty burners to wonky dials. But remember, some problems are beyond a DIY fix. If you're in over your head, there's no shame in calling a professional. It's better to be safe than sorry. With these tips in your arsenal, you're well-equipped to tackle any minor issues that come up with your electric stove. Happy cooking!